in this lecture we are going to learn about parts of flowers die hybrid cross mendel's law of inheritance test cross or back cross deviation from mendelian ratios there are various parts of the flower first is the green fluffy part which is known as sepal as you can see here then is the pistil which receives the pollen and makes fruit it is the main region of the autumn which receives pollen then stigma receives the sticky pollen by grabbing it from the air style is the connecting stalk between thick stigma and ovary stamen is the main part and here the pistil is the female part stamen is made up of filament and anther anther is the pollen manufacturer is it is responsible for manufacturing of pollen into the flower filament takes the pollen from the anther and uh, till the ovary where the seed is produced here we are going to see about dihybrid cross in dihybrid cross mendel took two seeds which are yellow round and green wrinkled from yellow round we get gametes such as capital y and capital r from green round we get small y and small r uh, this yellow round and green wrinkled are parents whereas this y r and small y r are the gametes in f1 generation if we rearrange we get capital y r small y small r or we can rearrange and write properly capital y small y and capital r small r this is the for f1 generation out of which this y is dominant over small y which is green and capital r is dominant over small r which is wrinkled so our f1 hybrid would be f yellow round from f1 we get gametes such as capital y small y capital r and small r or if we rearrange we get these are the common colors and how is the nature of the seed by crossing first and third then first and fourth so i will get capital y capital r and capital y small r then second and third small y capital r then second and fourth small y small r i am going to write down all the four hybrids which i am getting here if students if i got four types of gametes and if i cross them with more four gametes i will get a total of 16 types of progeny produced in the f2 generation correct So I am going to construct my table of dihybrid cross here, and I am going to write down all these four gametes horizontally and vertically, and I am going to multiply them as like just like we do multiplication, first row, then first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. Likewise, here I am crossing uh, first row and. first column capital y capital y capital r capital y r then again the same row and second column which will give me capital y capital y capital r small r again the same row and the third column capital y capital r is getting crossed with small y and capital r i will get capital y small y capital r capital r then the fourth one same row and the fourth column which will give me capital y small y and capital r small r same goes for rest of the table i am going to cross the first column with second row then for the third row i am going to cross all the four columns with the third row and i am going to find out whether my progeny produces yellow round yellow wrinkled green round green wrinkled later on or any other type of phenotype or genotypic ratio
first one in first column i have my dominant capital y and capital r are dominant so that is yellow round in second one again yellow round in third one capital y and capital r are dominant so again yellow round in fourth one capital y and capital r are dominant so yellow round in fourth capital y capital r dominant so yellow round in fifth capital y and small r so this would be yellow i am writing down all the um, mnemonics here so it would be y for yellow and small r for wrinkles so it would be yellow wrinkles here we got capital y and capital r dominant so yellow round in for eight one capital y and small r are dominant so yellow wrinkles capital r y capital r dominant so yellow round again here a yellow round small r, uh, small y capital r so small y is green and small uh, capital r is round green round green round so phenotypically we got ratio of uh, 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 if, if we count how much yellow round how much yellow wrinkle green round and green wrinkle and genotypically we are going to find out i am writing out whatever the common common um, progeny are there i am writing down here below i am not writing writing any of the progeny which is uh, repeating just the unique ones i am going to write and i am going to count how much genotype ratio is there So this is occurring one time capital y capital r, y capital r small r is occurring two times then i am going to count out capital y cap, small y capital r capital r is occurring two times again and this is way i am going to continue counting out how the progeny genotypic wise Here now Mendel's law of inheritance character which appears in F1 generation is dominant and which is suppressed is called recessive Just remember in F1 generation whatever the character which is expressing itself is dominant and the character which is not expressing is recessive it is or absent or masked not totally got deleted or erased it will appear in F2 generation as you saw in die hybrid cross also as for example curly hairs are dominant over straight hair this is a simplest example you can give second law states that law of segregation alleles stay separate and don't mix they separate and segregate while gamete formation they do not overlap each other or in functions of each other they do not mix in each other's functioning suppose we if we took tall and dwarf plants and we cross them tall will give capital t and dwarf will give small t they do not get mixed to each other or uh, hamper each other's functioning they will themselves be dominant and recessive they um, uh, and they will function likewise as they want to next next is test cross or back cross this is basically in genetics a test cross first introduced by gregor mendel involves the breeding of an individual with a phenotypically recessive individual in order to de determine the zygosity of the former by analyzing proportion of offspring phenotype zygosity can either be heterozygous or homozygous you didn't got it right it means that in f1 generation whatever the progeny is produced phenotypically we know that the sheep when we cross the sheep produced in f1 generation is either black or either white but what about genotype is it pure 
प्योर ब्लैक और इज़ इट प्योर वाइट और इज इट जस्ट एन हाइब्रिड सो फॉर दिस टेस्ट क्रॉस इज परफॉर्म आफ्टर मेंडल डिस्कवर्ड हिज रेशोज और मेंडल प्रपोज मेंडल लॉ ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस देर वर मैनी साइंटिस्ट एज वेल हु रीडिस्कवर्ड मेंडल लॉ एंड दे वर नोन एज डिविएशन फ्रॉम मेंडेलियन रेशोज और पोस्ट मेंडेलियन जेनेटिक्स और न्यू मेंडेलियन जेनेटिक्स which we are going to see further incomplete dominance no one is dominant or recessive both coat equally it means that if we make suppose here red and fl- uh, white flowers uh, bearing plants are mixed the quality is that genes are mixed we will get are expressing their characters but they are mixing with each other next is codominance codominance it means that both alleles express equally if we cross a white and a brown cow we can get white cow with brown spots or brown cow with white spots they codominate they express both of their qualities equally none of them are expressing more none of them are expressing less effect pleiotropy means that single gene controls different gene trait it means that a single gene can have feature 1 feature 2 or feature 3 ample amount of features it can have suppose we are taking an example of um, hemoglobin present which has sickle cell anemia in it there are three possibilities which is hba and hba which is perfectly fine next is hba and hbs this patient will show slight amount of sickle cell anemia but the patient with hbs and hbs this has this patient has the a lethal gene which can lead that patient to lose their life so these are the three possibilities you can get by a single gene the patient can be fine or anemic or can have sickle cell anemia next is multiple alleles it means that there are more than two alleles for a single gene we know that for height either the plant was tall or dwarf but for example there are many other genes which have multiple alleles for example a, a for a cock crown it can be single walnut p shaped row rose or in humans we can have hazel eyes blue eyes brown eyes black eyes many 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 n number of possibilities we can have so this is the example of multiple alleles and this is what multiple alleles mean that they have many forms and possibilities hey thank you for watching the video if you like the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if any doubt you can email us at the given email address below bye